Hello again, this is Mark Freed, and this is the seventh video in a series of videos that I have created for new users of the NILT platform. And in this video, we're going to talk about how you can use HTML and CSS to uh, add formatting to your NILT pages that you cannot get directly from MediaWiki commands. MediaWiki understands HTML, so you can use most, not all, but most HTML commands in it. And actually, we're not going to discuss too many commands because you can do a lot knowing relatively little. Some of you probably know how to write HTML and CSS, and if you do, I suggest that you just try using what you know as you create your note pages, and if something doesn't work, you'll figure out pretty quickly that it doesn't work. If you're new to HTML, let me uh, begin by saying all HTML commands, it's very easy language to learn, <clears throat> and all HTML commands, uh, or almost all, have a beginning, a middle, and an end. So here's an example to explain how. An HTML command begins with a less than sign, followed by the command itself, and then finishes with a greater than sign. That's the beginning. Uh, so for example, if you were going to create a header using the h4 command, h means header and four is just a size, it can be one to six, uh, then you would write less than sign, h4, greater than sign. The middle is the argument for the command. Uh, and by argument, I mean what you want to have appear on the page of the browser when it opens up that HTML uh, page. Uh, and then the end is pretty much like the beginning with one difference. The less than sign is followed by a forward slash and then the command itself and then the greater than sign. So at the end you have less than forward slash h4 greater than sign. So to create the uh, title you would type less than h4 greater than my title, whatever you want, less than forward slash h4 greater than, and that produces my title. Now you could have produced that with the edit toolbar as well, and let's take a look at that very quickly. So you could have gone up here and pulled down a level four title. I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it, and I got this. Now you see there's some differences. In this case, I've indented it to line up here. How did I do that? Well, I actually did that with the media wiki commands. You can mix the media wiki commands and the HTML commands on the same line. So I put two colons, which basically is to indent to two tabs here, and I move that title out. You can't actually do that here. If you put any colons, put anything to the left or the right of the equal signs in the uh, um, uh, section commands of media wiki, uh, it just screws them up. You're just going to, it's not going to work. So uh, two things are different. One is that using the HTML, you can move it around and position it differently if that's what you want to do. And you also don't create an edit bar, which you know you don't, probably don't want to have popping up every every step of the way. So um, you have more flexibility with the HTML. If you do want to create a an editing section, then go ahead and use the section creation uh, functions in MediaWiki. So now let's talk a little bit about very basic formatting. Using uh, the edit bar, let's go back there for a second. You can do bold or you can italicize something. Those are your choices. You can also do a superscript or a subscript. You can make characters smaller or larger. Those are your choices for uh, managing characters on the editing toolbar. Using HTML, you can do a lot more. For example, you might want to underline something. Well, the underline command in HTML is simply the letter U. These are actually known as inline elements in HTML. You don't need to worry about that. So if you want to make something boldface, boldface command in HTML is a B. If you want to italicize it, it's an I. Now, 
you may want to italicize and boldface something. So here's an example of how I italicized, made boldface, and underlined this text all together. I put the italics on the outside, then the underline, and then the boldface. And then I put the text I wanted, and you'll notice it goes in the reverse order. And that's because it's reading it as, okay, make this all boldfaced and then make everything inside the use underlined, and then make everything inside that italicized. So when you chain commands, it's very important that you come out in the reverse order that you went in. Uh, so you, if you, you can't have these in different orders, it won't read it correctly. Now here's a couple other examples. Uh, you can, you might want to have subscripts. So, for example, if you were writing a mathematical equation where you had x1 plus x2 um, and you needed subscripts, you could use the uh, subscript inline element in HTML to do that. And you could also, you might want superscripts. So, you might have y equals x squared, or you might have a footnote in some text where you need to put a number up there, but you want it to be smaller. So just to show you, uh, we'll go into edit mode here, and you can see how I did that. So to get the subscripts, I did x, subscript, number one, end subscript command. Similarly, x, subscript number two, uh, the number two, and end the subscript command. Uh, and then, uh, actually, I, bold, I put those in boldface. So you can go through this uh, edited format on your own time and review what I did. So those are how you use, how you create HTML commands and how you um, use inline elements to do some simple formatting on text. And let's stop this now. All right.